Okay, Bismillah ar rahim Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. How are you? Okay, uh, welcome to another uh, lesson of our lessons. Today we are speaking about makeovers. Makeovers, redecorations of a house. And we've got three main objectives. Let's look at the objectives first of all. Our first objective will be to elicit words related to the redecorating of houses. We are going to redecorate a house. So you are going to elicit the meaning of words needed for writing. Uh, our second objective will be to identify the layout and parts of a semi-formal letter. And we'll come to that later. What is a semi-formal letter? Uh, third objective will be to compose a semi-formal letter following a given layout, to compose, to write. But first of all, let's get started. I'd like you to look at the pictures that will be shown on the board and to tell me, okay, what you think of it. Is it a nice room? Yes. Is it? What about the colors? Yes? It's good colors for a classroom. Good colors? Yes. Do you like the colors of this room? Yes. Do you think it is good for a boy or a girl? Yeah. A girl, yes, yes. Don't be shy, I'd like you to answer, okay? Another? It's a boy's room, huh? Yes. Okay. What do we have in this picture? We've got lots of things. Mm -hmm. What can you see in the picture, yeah, Khalifa? Uh, I said I saw a bedroom. A bedroom. It's a bedroom, yes? Yes. A boy playing basketball. A uh, boy playing basketball. Perfect. What else? We have a, a bed for the boy, yeah? Is the room well organized or badly organized? Organized. Well organized or badly organized? Well organized. Another picture? Whoa. What do we call this? We call it a modern okay, a modern room, a modern layout, or we can call it a trendy, a trendy room. If it is a trendy room, is it fashionable or out of fashion? Fashionable. Fashionable. Yeah. What is the opposite of fashionable? Out of fashion. So, my friend, if you like a room, you say it's fashionable. And if you don't like a room, you say it's out of fashion. Understand? Yes. Okay. What about this? I think it's much better, huh? The colors. Trendy or out of fashion? Trendy. Trendy. Who said out of fashion? Yeah. What What do you think it would be uh, fashionable? If you'd like to change it, if you'd like to make a makeover, to do a makeover of this room, would you like to change the colors? I can't hear you, I'm sorry. Remove what? Uh -huh. and I speak, I'm speaking about the colors. You said it's not fashionable. Would you like to change the colors? To what color? Yellow. Yellow. Dark or light? Dark. Light. Light yellow. Okay. It's your taste, and it differs from one to other. Whoa. I myself, I like this room for one reason. Can you tell me the reason? Why? Why do you like the room? Yes. Because it's white. White. Yes. Symbol of peace. Symbol of peace. Yes. Perfect. Uh, that's why hospitals, everything is white, yes? Because it's peaceful. Very good. But if you paint it, uh, you know, dark green or dark blue, no. Using space in the best way, because we've got a small space, that's why we redecorate. One question here. 
Do you think you can do a similar makeover, okay, in your room? You know, in the West, most students in your age, girls and boys, and most of them girls, do makeovers. They go and buy paints and they paint the walls. And can you do that? Can you, can you do that? Can you go and buy paint? You can do it. Yes. You can do it. What about you? Is it difficult or is it easy? No problem, huh? No problem. Why would you do it? Why would you do a makeover? A coat. Why? Why would you paint the colors of the room a different color? Why? Uh, raise your hand. Don't be shy. Why? Why? Why would you change the colors of the room? Yes. To make it fashionable. Fashion. To make it fashionable. Yes. What else? Simply because I don't like the color. Okay. Because if you paint it lighter, you will feel that it's bigger. Okay. Some students say, I can't do it. It's difficult. Sometimes I have a very small window in my room. And I would like to make this window what? Bigger. What can I do? Can I do it myself? Is it easy or difficult? No. Let's see. Uh, you are going to watch a video, and after you watch this video, you tell me whether it's OK or not. I will tell you a story. And then you will watch a video. But before we watch the video, I start my story. I have someone that I know, and he can fish, you know, do fishing. He can sail a boat. He can play football. He's very good at swimming. He can do everything. Can you repeat that again? He can do everything. And among other things, that uh, he does, he traveled to 80 countries around the world. How many countries? 80. 80 countries. And he's giving lectures at universities. He, work, he goes to schools and universities and he gives lectures. Can, can you imagine that? And we are going to look at this guy. What do you think? 
I can imagine that the friend I told you about, <coughs> that who can do fishing, uh, sail a boat, uh, play football, uh, etc., would be someone like that. How many hands does he have? No one. No hands. Yes. How, how, how many legs? No. And he's crying and very sad. No, no, no. Because to him life is very depressing. Like the room that you would like to change sometimes. It is depressing. I say my room is depressing. The colors are depressing. I don't like the colors. I would like to change them. But what is the lesson that we learn from this video? First time for you to see this video, yes? What is the lesson? Don't say I can't. Don't say I can't. That's perfect. Don't say I can't. What can you say instead? What can you say? You say I can't. I can do everything. Of course now you will say I can't and now you will do everything, yes? Perfect. Don't say I can't. Don't say that you are not good enough. Don't say that I can't do this or I can't do that. Because, as we've seen, this man, he traveled to 80 countries, giving lectures, teaching people. He's a great teacher. And he didn't say, I can't. But we, when we come to a makeover, we say, I can't do it. I will have to tell someone to do it for me. I think it's good that you try and do things yourself. Yes, my friend? Depend on yourself. Depend on yourself, it's another lesson. Depend on yourself, don't depend on others. What other lessons that you have learned from this video? Yes? Depend on yourself. There is nothing called impossible. Don't say it's impossible. Because if you look at him, he's got no hands, no legs. He can do nothing. No, he can do everything. Do you think that he got married? Yes, yes, yes. He got married. And his wife is very happy. And don't ask me how. Because he knows what to do and how to do it. Okay, gentlemen. So the lesson is I can do it. I can do whatever. Okay, I've got another story of a friend that lives in a very small room. So can we make the room bigger? Yes, how? Yes. Oh, yes. He lives in a small room. He can't, he can't make it bigger. OK. And he's got a small window in that room. OK. And the room is very hot. Not like here. The room is very hot. He's got something evolving here. Uh, oh, a fan. fan, yes. Only a fan. And he's dreaming of having something that makes the weather better, like air conditioner. An air conditioner. An air, an air, an air conditioner. So he wants to have an air conditioner. And the colors of the room, okay, yes. they are very dark, gray. depressing, gray. They, he doesn't like the colors. He wants to to paint the, the room, to redecorate the room. Repeat after me, redecorate, redecorate, make over, make over, redecorate. So he, he wants to redecorate the room and to have another color. Can you guess this color will be a dark color or a lighter, a lighter color than the present one? I want you to imagine that you are this person and that you will be asked to write a letter to a company. Write a letter to a company. A company uh, is it a friend? I will be writing to a friend or no. to a friend? No. If I write to a friend, I say, Dear Ali, but I will be writing to a company. And we call it semi formal letter. Excellent. A semi formal letter. Yeah. So it's not a formal, it's a semi formal. Of course, we started formal. 
uh, informal or friendly. And today we study semi formal. It's not formal and this it's not friendly. So you will be asked to write. A semi formal letter. What is a semi formal letter? It's describing and making suggestions. I describe my rule to the company and I ask them to redecorate the room and I make suggestions. How? I said that the color of the wall is gray. I would like to have it light blue. That's my suggestion. But I do not give them orders. Why? Because sometimes the customer doesn't understand. He's not a professional. He's not a specialist. So I say, he's, you do it for me. When you're writing a semi-formal letter, follow the plan below. What is the plan? Greeting, number one. I'd like you to memorize. Greeting. Uh, what is the greeting? We use dear, uh, Mr. or Miss. What is my name? Mr. Muhammad Said. So how do you address me? Dear, uh, dear Mr. Muhammad or dear Mr. Said. Excellent. Surname. Okay. Because you are addressing a person you know, but not someone who is a friend or relative of yours. So I say, dear Mr. Saeed. We have Mr. Muhammad Bilal, we say, dear Mr. Bilal. Uh, Mr. Abdullah Rayyan, we say, dear Mr. Rayyan. We use the surname. Perfect. The opening paragraph. What do we use the opening paragraph for? To say why you are writing the letter. What? The purpose, excellent. I am writing this letter to, to do what? To ask them to redecorate my room. And the main part, you can write one paragraph, two paragraphs, or three paragraphs. Develop the most important aspects of the topic. In this particular case, today, describe your bedroom. How to describe your bedroom now? I small bed, small bed. Small bed. The paint. The colors, everything. Mention three or four changes you want to make. Three or four changes. I will change the color of the paint. Install an, an AC or anything. A carpet, you know. Replace anything. Perfect. Say why you want it to be redecorated. Why? I don't like it. I don't like it. But I hate. Sometimes we can say, I hate the color, I don't like it. It's okay. Closing paragraph, okay? Uh, this paragraph, we summarize the points and end the letter politely, okay? And then finally, signing off. Signing off. We use yours sincerely. Can we say yours only? No. No, because yours, a friendly letter. And your full name, Ali Hamad, okay? And you, signature. Signature. Set sign before the name. So, again, who can tell me the first part? Yes? Greeting. Greeting. What do we use in greeting? What do we write? Ah, one word. Before the start, dear. Dear, dear, dear. Yes. Yes? Opening paragraph. Opening paragraph. Why do we write the opening paragraph? To tell him about, to tell him about what you want him to do. And after the, the greeting and the opening paragraph, what do we have? Picture and some yes. Main part. How many paragraphs the main part, gentlemen? One or two or three. Yes, perfect. So you have the main part and then the closing paragraph. Okay, yes, read. And summarize your points and end your letter right. And finally, we have what? Have the signing off. Sign okay, now it's matching time. A student asks other groups to match different parts of the letter to their description. And we'd like to know the winners. And we have a new idea here that I would like to show to you. How many parts do we have here? Five. Five. Uh, can you read? Is it clear from your place? Yes. Uh, opening paragraph. So we start with the opening paragraph. And then the closing paragraph. And then the greeting. Yes. I don't want you to put them in order. 
I will play with you. I will do this. Okay? Um, greeting. A student raises his hand and comes here and matches the answer okay, to the greeting. Where is the greeting? Hands up. I want hands up. Hands up. Yes, Abdullah? Come quickly. Yes, perfect. So one point four tigers now. One point four tigers, Mr. Okay? One point four tigers. Please. Okay. Number mention a number. Uh, number two. Number two. Okay. Number two. What is it? Number two? Closing. Closing huh? paragraph. Who can answer number two? Where is the closing paragraph? You can't see that. Huh? You have to take the risk and come here and answer. Don't be frightened. Yes, Jaffa, come. Jump. Run. To summarize your points and end your letter politely. Very good. This will encourage you more uh, jobs. Yes. Uh, eagles, you haven't answered. Pick a number. Uh, oh. But. If you pick a number that your other students answered, you lose marks. Four. Okay, four. Come and answer number four. Four will be main part. Where is the main part? Quickly. Okay. Answer. Where? Here? C. Yes. Okay. What's left? How much left? We answered many parts, but we've got uh, how many parts left? Two. Two. Uh, pick one. Quickly. Signing off. Who can answer the signing off? Can you do it, Muhammad? Yes. Yes, yes, Muhammad. Thanks a lot. One last part. Where is the missing part? The last part. The last part. Khalifa, come on, huh? Opening paragraph. Yes. And where is it? Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. That's number one. Now I need a student to come to the board and do it for me. Okay? Match. We have a program called Wondershare. <coughs> Uh, how many parts do we have here, gentlemen? Huh? Open okay, paragraph. Huh? And what? Closing paragraph. And don't be afraid. You come and take this wonderful pen and move like this, like this, and you answer. Okay? Who can do first part for me? Because time will be calculated. Greeting. No, no, no. You want to answer all of it? All of it? Greeting. Tell me the greeting. Yes? Yes. Let's find out if the answer is correct or not. Of course, we will put exercises like this on the LMS, you know the LMS? So you can answer them. Now I will press this with the pen. Let's see if he answered correctly or not. Submit. Uh, all of them are correct. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So now we achieved two of our, of our goals. 
we elicited words that will be used in the writing, and now you know the parts of the letter. Let's review our uh, reading, use dear Mr. Okay? Opening paragraph, saying why you are writing. Main part, developing the most important aspects of the topic. Closing paragraph to summarize the points and to end the letter politely. And finally, we use yours sincerely and your name. That's very good. Oh, tigers, cheetahs, lions, falcons, eagles. Now it's group work time. We have how many groups in this class? Five, five, five. Each group will be asked to do a different thing. So, for example, young men, group number one will be given the layout of the letter. You know the layout of the letter? Yes. Yeah. Reading and stuff like that. And you have parts of the letter. And you have to start putting each part in its place. Okay? That's group number one. You know the task? Is it clear? But before you answer, discuss it together and do it together. And write your names for students on the page. I want to wear that name, please. They should be here now. Okay, second group, Eagles, you will be asked to do a different task. How many spaces do you have here? Look carefully, five spaces. And here you have five multiple choice questions, but for each question, you've got two distractors, two answers, A or B. Check carefully and write the answer from here, copy it to here. Okay, and write your names. A pen, that's a pen. A pen will be fine. Uh, I do have a plan B, so if your brain doesn't come, it's okay. You are going to fill in the spaces. How many words here? Ten. How many words? Ten. Okay? You are going to use these ten words to fill in the spaces. Okay? Okay? And write your names together. All of you, please. This group, you are going to write a letter. Write it from scratch. You don't have a pen. Now move there. Look carefully. No, 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 no. Read carefully. Read carefully. And you, you are going to reduce words from here. Okay. Yes. No. Where is number one? Where is number one here? Number one. Where is number one here? How many options do you have? And they, they mean the same. But we depend on this idea of formal, informal, semi formal. Before you write, Muhammad, discuss it with your colleagues. Okay? You are going to write to someone asking him to help you redecorate your house. Okay? Plan B, as I said. It's okay. Together, yes. Okay. Maybe the main body is not uh, yes. yes. 
we need to track it in order to stick the product here and here. Let me do the change. Because I have money, you know. You know the curtain? Yes, we put curtains on the but you have to consult each other, plus each other how you reach them. And please write your name, write your answers. What you write the answer in? You see what I mean? In number one, write the word. First, Oh, yes, yes, good, good. good. The timer, you know, is working now. Ten minutes. You know, originally fifteen minutes, but we try ten minutes to see if it's.
So let's okay hear what they've got. Hamad, go ahead and read. Face the camera and raise your voice. Dear Mr. Hamad, my big wrong is this morning. My color of big wrong is that. I will to change the color my, of my big wrong. I will strike this color. My color of big wrong is that yellow. I want to do, I want to new table and read. I want to change that. He wants to change the air condition. Perfect. Yes. Please come quickly. Yeah, but please come quickly. I have a problem with please come quickly. Who can tell me? This group. Your task was based on formal and informal. Please come quickly. I would like to change it to C formal. Yes, a friendly letter. It's, yeah, yes. Please come quickly. It's a friendly letter. I want to change it into a semi formal. Yes. I would be grateful. I would be grateful if you come. Yes. And thank you for your for your assistance. Okay. Excellent. For your help. Excellent. This is more formal and it's better. So instead of saying please come quickly, you write this to a friend. Please, please, friend, you are my friend. Please come quickly. But he's not your friend. You say I would be grateful. Repeat after me. I would be grateful. I can't hear you. I would be grateful. If you could help me. Thank you, Thank you for your help. For your help. So but if I say thanks, it's informal. Thanks a lot. Okay, yes, go on, Hamid. How much time? Yes, go on. Finally, 
signing off. Abdullah, Abdullah Saleh Nasser. We forgot something. Abdullah Saleh Nasser. There is a missing, a missing part here. Your sincerely, excellent. Your sincerely. You have to write your sincerely. Thanks a lot, Muhammad. We greet Muhammad because it's, uh, as I said, the most difficult task. Yes. Okay. You have homework. Okay. The writing section in page 141 okay what did you learn today i want you to tell me what you have learned today from the very beginning from the pictures from the video everything remember record and tell me what you have learned today yes how we can make up our work how to do a makeover of a performing excellent yes but I want all groups to participate. Raise your hand and answer. Don't be afraid. I left that I, I don't say I can't do I can't do this. Yes. I learned how to write a, a semi-formal letter. Yes, perfect. perfect. First I write greeting. Yes. And then opening paragraph. Yes. And then main part. And then final. Closing paragraph. Closing paragraph. And then sign. Signing off. Signing off. Excellent. Excellent. I want someone to stress the first part. If you meet one of your friends saying, I can't write a letter. Because when it comes to exams, national exams, you say, I can't write a letter. I can't write this very, very long essay. 15 sentences, too much, teacher. Don't say, I can't. Don't say, I can't. It's a big lie that you believe that you can't do it. You know, because, uh, you know, a shaitan comes to you here and says, you're stupid, you can't do it, you can't try it, you can't answer. You, you say, what would you say in this case? Yes, you are right. No, you dismiss him. You say, I was I can. I can do it, I can write. I can do everything. <laughs> can you do everything? Yes. yes. Because this man that you've seen, has got no hands, no knowledge, and he's very depressed or happy. happy. He's very happy. If you see someone like this, you have to sympathize with him. Yes. Sympathize. What kind of sympathize? You feel that you have to help him. If you see someone on a wheelchair in the street, what do you do? Help him. Help him. You don't park your car in the parking place of disabled people. You understand? Because the value of our lesson today is called sympathy. The value of our lesson today is called sympathy. You have to sympathize with such people and to help them. Okay. Uh, again to that letter, okay? Is it a formal letter? No. no. What is it? Semi formal. Okay. And do you know how to do it? Yes. yes. One last activity. I have this letter in a bigger size, and in this case, I have brought you the whole letter. Not part of the letter, not like before, but this is in order. Can you read? Huh? Uh, Creating. Yes, number two. <laughs> number three. <laughs> number four. <laughs> and number five. <laughs> and here, you have the full answer. Here, we have the full answer. And I would like each group to answer one question. And I will start this activity like this. I have five cards. How many cards here? Five. I say, uh, Falcons, do number two for me. Falcons, one from Falcons, come and do number two. What is number two? Yes? Opening paragraph, stand up and come. Yes. Read it. I am writing to ask you to redecorate my bedroom, having seen your work. I believe that you can do better. Excellent. But I, I, I am writing to ask you to redecorate. Redecorate, not redecoration. Perfect. Thanks a lot. 
So we answered number one, gentlemen, two. Okay, I want uh, Eagles to do number one for me. Number one, yes. Greeting, yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thanks a lot. And now, number five. Yes, Abdullah Talib. Where's number five? Yeah. Uh, 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 yes, read. Uh, uh, Your sincerely read. Your sincerely Ahmad Ali. You see, Ahmad Ali is written in two different ways. What is the signature? Signature and the full name. Excellent. We have two left. Number four. Cheetah. Ah, number four. Come, come, stand up. Yes, come. Yes. Yes, read, 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 read. And I would be grateful. Grateful. I would be grateful. That means if you would please. write back tell, telling me whether you will erase my living room. I would also like to thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. For your time and assistance. Assistance. What, what do you call assistance? Sorry, uh, English. Help, help, help. 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 Thanks help. a lot. Uh, take that. Yeah. Uh, last question is uh, number three. Yes. Which group? Huh? Yes. Uh, One minute. Okay. Run. Main part. Yes. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, of course I can't ask you to read the main part because it's a big part. Thanks a lot. Okay, summary. Five parts of a semi-formal letter. Can you tell me the five parts? Number one, together. Huh? Number one, eight, dear mister. Yes. And the third name. Number two, opening paragraph. Yes. What do you do in this opening paragraph? I like them. And then number three. How many? paragraphs. Yes. After that, summing up conclusion. And finally, signing off. Signing off. Okay. So far, the law of the Thanks a lot, my dear students. Okay.